So uh, Gabriel Nassif and Tiago Chan are going to play on. They're now in game four. Nassif needs to win two in a row to get through to the semifinals here and defend the home turf. Tiago Chan trying to keep his player of the year hopes alive, trying to win the allegedly unwinnable matchup. Meanwhile, we are going to go ahead and move on to the semifinals on the other side of the bracket. We've got uh, Japanese player Ryu Ogura piloting his Triskitron deck of Katsuhiro Mori's design against Nick Lovett, who just took out Katsuhiro Mori. So he's got a Boros deck with his own little twist to it. Wildfire Emissary being the most surprising card. Seemed awesome in a field full of Boros. Doesn't seem to be hurting him against Triskitron either. I, I'd, li I'd like to find out if he's siding them out. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I would have to assume. I mean, not, not, not only are they four mana two fours, they're also red, and it's a deck with cop red. I'm sure right. they're coming out. We, we have to assume he's bringing in uh, a Ronum Unicorn and uh, two Chiroclasms. Sure. For, for this match. Uh, he might not have enough cards to bring in. Uh, I don't know if he wants to bring in Stone Rains or not. Uh, we, saw, we saw Annexes be very good against, uh, against Gabriel Nassif. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of disrupting his Tron, well, sure. Stone, Stone Rain certainly. So you I mean you can actually bring in uh, four Stone Rains, two Chiroclasms, and uh, to disrupt the, the Triskatron deck. That but, makes you know, sense. But that'll be game two. We still have game one to deal with. <laughs> Looking at the forums, Haka, you were asking what people are doing. I see some guys playing Magic Online. Hakan is just staying up all night. It's only 1 a.m. in Vancouver, Washington. So, oh, nice. You know, it's not even late yet. Hey, Hakan, how you doing? <laughs> Went to bed early to wake up. Right? Well, that works. Doing homework. Magic's more important. That, that makes Josh sense. Josh Clater says it's 4 a.m. in Kentucky. <laughs> but he wants to see players that are much better than him playing. I'm sure there's some jokes there. That <laughs> pass by. Oh, Australia works out perfect. 7 p.m. That's great. I, this is one of my favorite parts. I, re I really enjoy... Um, being here, uh, and, and, and just knowing that there's people all over the world listening to us yeah. and, and watching us uh, and, and keeping an eye on us to make sure we don't make uh, too many mistakes. <laughs> or, make sure I don't make too many mistakes. <laughs> anyway. I make my fair share. <laughs> Guy knocking the top of all of his decks in order to give Tiago some positive luck. <laughs> Shouta Yasaoka. I, I've been getting it wrong, apparently. Is it Shouta or is it Shouta? Yasaoka. Shouta Yasaoka. Yeah, I haven't. Okay. I've, I know I've gotten the number of syllables wrong. If that's the case. Oh, mini fridge stocked full of green teas and a couple of sandwiches. Oh man, in green for the tea. long haul. That sounds good. <laughs> We've certainly laid in a supply of bottled water for ourselves. <laughs> As we're, uh, and, and, you know, because we have to replace all the fluids we're losing in this box. This is a hot This one. is a hot one. This we had an air one. conditioner in Kobe <laughs> blowing into the, uh, into the booth. That, was, that really spoiled me. <laughs> that was very nice. Who do you like in this matchup, by the way? I mean, we saw Nick Levette win this matchup already against Katsu. Does that mean you've got to like his chances here to get all the way through to the finals? I do. I do. I, I, li I like Lovett. I, I, I like him to go 9-0 in standard. It's hard. 9-0 in standard? 9-0 in standard. Yeah, World champion, Welshman, Nicol Lovett. Absolutely. Back-to-back -back rookies following up on Jan Moritz Merkel's uh, win at the last Pro Tour. So these guys are just getting underway. Rio's looking at his hand, and uh, he doesn't want to keep that one. Actually, should we do a come-in for semifinals for the archives? Do you want to pause them and then uh, go out and come back in? Let's let's do that. So we'll just keep chatting until they're ready. So right? Rio's mulliganing to start off the semifinals here. And uh, Love It in true pro fashion has not looked at his hand yet. Is that right? He has not looked at his hand. Wow. I, I don't even know if I could do that. How do you not look? <laughs> don't you want to know? You don't want to give anything away. Do you believe you give anything away? I mean, that's that's kind of like, uh, is that like the semi-pro pro move? Yeah, I think so. Because like, the true pro can look at his hand, be thinking about it, and still not give anything away. You feel like you want that extra time to make the decisions? I would. 
Yeah, as you, you watch Oiso Mulligan and you realize and, and uh, someone who, who put so much time and thought into his Mulligan decision that you realize uh, that I, I realize that I'm probably not taking enough time on my Mulligan decisions. Apparently the Brazilian word for awkward is inabial. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that ended up being extra inabial, that whole... Uh, yeah, it worked out in the end for Mahara, though. Poor Mahara, I see one of... Don't worry, it turns out okay for him. <laughs> We're catching up on the, uh, catching up on the forums. <laughs> How do you make that mistake in crunch time? It's tough. Yeah, playing under the lights especially. Mm. And these lights are very hot. I mean, they're not just metaphorically hot. Like, no, these are I was out, hot. I was out in the feature match area before we started, and they are hot. Craig Jones, anyone? <laughs> it wasn't quite Craig Jones. It wasn't worthy. quite Craig Jones. Like, if he'd, if he'd flipped it up face up. Right, right, right. Didn't quite have the theatricality. I mean, I mean as, as the get out of jail after it was, the mistake. It was, it was, a, it was prob it will go down as one of the more exciting top decks. It was one tremendous top deck, no question. But again, I mean, you know, it's a top deck, but at the same time, he could have easily just collapsed there. And he just, yep. he did not. No, I mean, he looked he, like he was almost going to lose his lunch. You looked at him when he realized he was one man short, and just this just look of stark horror. But you know what? He, he got it together. He, he wrote it. He stayed you know, there. He was like, he I got to find it. the play. I got to find the play. There's a play here. He's like, don't move until you see it. Right. right. There's a play here somewhere, and he found it. He found the only, he, he gave himself the only opportunity <laughs> he could have. To uh, to get out there, I was, it was that was you know I mean kudos to him. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, but there's definitely something. I like, don't know that I actually couldn't have run away from the table. <laughs> you would have been gone. I might have been. I might have been just so sick that I might have just dropped my cards and walked away, uh, disgusted with myself. Right. I mean the 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 really interesting thing there is the ability to go. Okay, I've just made one of the colossal <laughs> all time pro all time pro tour blunders. Right. What do I do now? How do I stay with this? And figure it out. I, I, I think that that's, a, you know, a really important lesson. I, I, you see people talking about that all the time, that it's not just about uh, not making mistakes. It's about minimizing your mistakes and yep. not dwelling on them. All right. Well, it looks like uh, Nick Levette is going to keep his, his grip of cards. Once he We're finally gonna, looks. Yeah. We're going to take a very quick break, and we'll be back momentarily with coverage of the World Championship semifinals. Hello and welcome to the 2006 Magic the Gathering World Championships. I'm Randy Bueller. I'm here with Brian David Marshall, and we are watching the semifinal match between Rio Ogura and Nick Levette. Levette, a Welsh player, a member of the Welsh national team, playing in his first Pro Tour ever. He put together a Boros deck with a little couple of twists of his own, ran the table on day one at Worlds, knocked out the reigning world champion Katsuhiro Mori in the quarterfinals, and now here he finds himself in the semifinals playing the same matchup. Ryo Ogura running the Triskitron deck that, uh, that Katsu put together. Ryo Ogura, meanwhile, second world's top eight. He's been here before. He got the 3-0 sweep against Paulo Carvalho in the quarterfinals, and Ogura is through to the semis, trying to help Japan go back-to-back. -back. Katsu's not going to do it as an individual, but those guys have a lot of national pride, and they'd love to sweep the awards this year just like they did last year. What are you looking for in this matchup, Brian? Well, uh, I'm looking at Rio Gora's deck list. Uh, he has only he only has three Wrath of Gods in his main deck. He's got the fourth one on the sideboard. Wow. So uh, Rio's going to really have to dig for his Wraths. And, uh, and, you know, uh, and he Nick needs to get it early, early because... Wrath of God is is not really a big deal to the Boros deck, right? A lot you, know, of burn. you want you want to get your guys down early and you treat right. them as burn spells. If Savannah Lion gets in for four, you're thrilled. Well, Nick went uh, turn one Savannah Lion and turn two Savannah Lion, so he's gotten in for gotten in for two so far. Yeah. And is that Adakar yeah. wasted on a couple of points? Oh I, no, uh, Rio brought a Hallowed Fountain into play untapped, so Rio's at sixteen. 